Hello, my name is Anthony. Welcome to this session that discusses improved batch submission, which is available in 23C in the Oracle Utilities Cloud Services. In this session, we'll talk about this new feature and how it can impact your business. I will give you an overview of the improved batch submission, followed by more detail to explain how to use it and the benefits to your business. Then we'll walk you through a short demonstration. And finally, we'll provide you with some additional resources. It is possible to initiate batch processing from the browser for testing purposes and performing ad hoc batch processing. This release simplifies the submission user experience to reduce complexity. In this release, batch submission has been improved in various ways. The function has been simplified to reduce manual errors and focus user attention. The user interface has been made simpler and less cluttered to optimize the user experience. And finally, it has been linked with the search feature added in 23A to allow users quickly to find submissions and reuse them. There are several key areas where the batch submission has been optimized, including optimization of key parameters for ease of use, including defaulting, isolation of advanced parameters so they only provided when needed, and help is now next to the parameters. Now let's take a look at the improved batch submission. Welcome to the demonstration of the batch submission. When you initiate a batch submission, either directly from a menu or from another function, you may be asked to indicate which batch control you want to execute. In past releases, this was not asked, but in this release we asked this question because we optimized the screen based on the batch control type, as you will see in this example. So in this case, I'm going to run a job and I'm going to execute it. So I hit OK when I specify the batch control and it'll take you into the batch submission screen. This will allow you to see quickly what you need to provide for this submission. In this case, there's three sections. The first section covers what are called the main parameters that you need to provide. And then most of those are defaulted for you automatically. So unless you want to override them, you need to specify them as they are. And then there's an additional parameters which I'll cover in a minute. And then the parameters that are specifically to the job are listed at the bottom. Now, it, this has been optimized to include inline help to allow you to see information by simply clicking on the description to see more information about what the parameters are about. So you provide a value and also whether it's required or not. Now, a third section will appear, but it's, it's minimized because it's not used very often, is the additional run details, which allows you to do advanced uh, submissions. So it allows you to specify advanced settings. These are hidden because these are not used very often, and so they are not taking up screen real estate. Now, once you have filled in what you want for the submission, you hit save and it is submitted in your behalf. As I pointed out in the slides, the batch submission now has been linked into the improved batch submission search, which was introduced in a past release. You can use this to rerun or duplicate executions if you need be. So in this case, you use the search screen, you navigate to the job you want to find, in the case of the job I just demoed, and you search for the job's past executions, and you can see the past executions and its date. And I click on an execution, so this is the latest execution, and I can then use that as a, a basis for another submission. So in this case, it's going through the submission screen, and you can see there's two new actions now. I can duplicate this, which creates a new instance, but if I also can rerun this job to rerun this instance. For additional information about this improved batch submission, see the administrative user guide on Oracle Help Center which is available from docs.oracle.com. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.